I really have had this f fear of angry people. A week doesn't go by, you, you don't, whether it's with your kids or other co-workers or somebody at church or a neighbor or something that you can't get into an argument with or somebody's angry at you or, or, or you're around angry people that are angry at each other. And I could identify pretty strongly with that. I, I could remember one time being in a supermarket, not many people around, and, and the checkout line. And there's this person in front of me that I don't even know. And there's the checkout person that I don't know. I, this is a store I didn't shop at very much. And this person in front of me and the checker, they, they got into an argument and they were angry at each other. And I can, to this day, I can remember how fearful that was for me. And it, it struck me, why am I so fearful? I don't know either of these people. I'm not even involved in this argument. But it's a clue that I've looked back to to, to confirm that, yeah, I, I really have had this fear of angry people and realize my fear of angry people was sin because of who God is and what he's promised you know many places in scripture it would talk about not being fearful and be anxious for nothing God just again helped me to see I, I just needed to confess my fear and there was no need to be fearful. He was there. And what, it's as simple as it is, when I understood that concept, that God being um, present, it, it, for, for me, it was the first time it clicked. He was there, and he had not abandoned me. Christian maturity is really finding out what we are, quoting somebody else, finding out what we already, who we already are in Christ, or what we already have in Christ. And, you know, in light of what's waiting ahead, I mean, difficulties and challenges and things that are uncomfortable, I mean, that's why Paul could say that these, when his life's in danger repeatedly, that he could say, oh, this is just momentary light affliction in light of what lies ahead. And to me, that is just a tremendous hope to have and it took a long time but uh, that God has freed me up to not being fearful and be anxious for nothing. And, I mean every time I've got a better picture of what Jesus did for me by dying on the cross and as I have just accepted what he's done for me coupled with knowing that God was there. In my fear, it's liberated me.